I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of slow laptops. I need some speed. 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 I've tried the Omen 15 RTX 2080. I've tried the 2070. Now it's time to try the RTX 5000. Now if you do a quick Google search and type fastest laptop for video editing and you open some websites the first one that always shows up is the Acer Concept D7 here it is Acer Concept D7 number one best laptop for color grading it's got the RTX 2080 the 4K screen it's got one terabyte SD card it's very fast it is also it's always one of the top number four another website creative blog number four a supremely powerful video editing laptop five stars here tech radar number six acer concept d7 pc magazine here it is the acer concept d7 four stars it's a desktop replacement amazing so what i'm gonna do is i've opened on the acer website and i found it here it is it's got the Core i7-9750H Hexa Core It's got 32GB RAM 1TB SSD card And the NVIDIA Geoforce RTX 2080 But I'm not going to buy this one I'm going to go one step further And I'm going to buy this For £3,500 guys I'm putting all my money into this It's got the i7-9750H 4K 32GB RAM 1 terabyte grail and the holy grail of graphic card RTX 5000 16 gigabytes of dedicated memory 16 gigabytes of RAM RTX 5000 now if you open the Acer uh, notebook bench benchmark and you read about it there is a lot of good things look at this is unparalleled performance for 3D rendering and computer intensive task this one is the one we are buying guys concept d7 rtx 5000 if we are to go on the notebook benchmark tests the rtx 5000 is one of the top it's up there actually what we have is a max q which is also still one of the top laptop mobile graphic cards it's number nine it's actually faster than the rtx 2080 and the rtx 2080 max q which i've tested in a previous video right here or here is it so let's buy it and let's test it yo bro come check this out i bought a laptop i bought a laptop concept 7d acer rtx 5000 how much did you buy 3500 Mario, you know that this price is a high price. You know that you can get a good laptop with one thousand pounds. No. Why would you spend so much money, uh, three thousand five hundred pounds, on a laptop? It's so expensive. How fast is this laptop? If you bought it with one thousand. And after a lot of anticipation, here it is. My laptop, three thousand five hundred pounds. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. I can't even fathom. I don't like this word fathom, but I can't even fathom how expensive this laptop is. Let's open it quickly and see what's inside. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful, guys. I love the color. Mmm, the smell. It smells good. Did they spray it with a spray or uh, like a perfume or something? Wow, this looks beautiful. I love it. So far, I'm in love with the color. If the charger is also white, then I'm sold. If the charger is white, let's have a look and see if the charger is white. I, I wouldn't mind if it's black, but uh, it's black. It's okay. I, I, maybe I was expecting too much. Maybe I was expecting too much. One thing I did notice, however, is how small it is. It's very small. Well done, HP. It's actually a medium size. It's not as small as some of them but it's also not as big as many of the ones that I've seen. One more thing I liked about this charger, I know it's very small things I'm talking about, but it's how medium size it is. Sometimes you get this massive wire that is like four meters long. Why? I mean, 
if you're gonna use a laptop why do you have a why are you gonna plug it six meters away this is enough it's a meter and a half perfect I don't want to carry six meters of cable with me when I'm traveling so this is perfect this is the moment that we've been waiting for let's open it and see what we get what's inside another unveiling another big unveiling the screen is very sturdy the anchor is very strong I love it wow this is good I love everything about this laptop I think I, I mean I like the color white because you don't see it too often you always see this black 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 gray I just wanted something different you know this is different 4k ultra HD screen it says it right here 4k ultra HD on yeah the color of the of the LED lights is very subtle very subtle you can't even see it you know it's just it's there but you cannot really see it which is good you don't want a fancy flashy red bright keeps flashing in front of your eyes you're working on a project you don't want to get a seizure you want to focus on your work this is perfect actually it's calming I would put that if I want to go to bed because it's very calm now let's move my mouse over here I think we've got many ports oh yes we have here a HDMI port type 3 I think 3.1 another one here this is a display port we have a USB type C two LED indicators one for the battery and one for the power when it's charging there's obviously the locking mechanism here that no one actually uses I don't know has anyone ever used it this one is our LAN the LAN line USB-C again uh, sorry USB 3.1 HDMI port a speaker and a headphone jack so I'm gonna set up the device now at the back there is nothing it's just some fans and vents for for the what it does it's very small it's not as thin as an iPad or something or I mean a MacBook but it's very thin compared to the things I've seen this is actually very thin the form factor is 100% sold I am in and the, the soft touch material here it's not as soft and it's it's got this retro feel the 80s you know it's got this 80s retro feel it's like matte white it's not shiny white it's not gonna be dazzling your eyes when you're working on this but it's matte finish I'm gonna set up the device now and then we're gonna come back and see how fast it is I've got a few things to say about the laptop while I was setting it up first of all the keyboard is okay but it's a bit light it's light on the touch you don't get a lot of feedback when you're typing you get like boom, boom, boom. you don't get like this tick tick you don't get this clicking the assuring click but it's still very doable but it's not the best keyboard I've seen but sometimes you get this haptic feedback on the other keyboards that it's just a bit better this one you don't feel it you know anyway let's continue the other thing I've noticed is how quiet it is it's very quiet even when the fans are fully on it's installing windows you just hear like a little gentle breeze like there's nothing going on there it's very good let me just remove that from here now I know this is a 4k screen it does say on the side here 4k clearly and I know it's 4k but for some reason I'm not seeing the 4k it's just it looks like an HD screen it doesn't look 4k at all it's not the best I would say in 4k terms because the one that I had previously the HP HP Omen and the HP uh, I did two previous episodes probably it's gonna show up here or maybe this side uh, they were a lot better I have to say I mean I'm not saying that they're not doing a very good job here but what is the 4k am I missing something did I get the 1080p I can try opening a video and seeing but so far I'm not very impressed to be honest if you're buying this laptop for the 4k screen don't don't do it because you're not getting any benefit just get the 1080p version if there is one because this 4k is not really 4k I could be wrong but this is my opinion I've seen many 4k screens from HP and uh, I've seen from uh, median and I've seen from uh, Surface Books and MacBooks, they are a lot better than that. The best thing about this laptop is that it's made, designed specifically for content creators, video editors, and anyone who's got a photography background who wants to do 
a lot of uh, calibration photo anything like that so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna connect my sd card in here i'm just gonna slide in and download some pictures there is no sd card i thought this was meant for videographers editors and filmmakers how can you not include an sd card port who came i want to see the engineer if he can send me a letter or an email i just want to see what was his reasoning behind not putting an sd card in this laptop how thin is it not is it taking too much space look i found the space here look you could have put it there look there's space for it actually there's space for it here there's space for it here as well look i found the space for it maybe maybe i'm not seeing it but i just want to see this engineer maybe he can give us a reason maybe a small small sentence a small paragraph why didn't he not include or she did not include an sd card port in a video editing laptop when the sounds are good the speakers are good you can see a bit you can hear left right there is a bit of surround sound all right let's open now my editing program which is called nch video pad i'm gonna try now loading all these files in the desktop which are called the keys there's about 10 of them all right here is the speed test enter we are looking at how fast they're gonna load it's fast but again we're not flying off here we're not gonna reach the moon any second normal i would say this is normal speed maybe slightly faster than normal so here we go the movies are still loading some of them have loaded and some of them are still loading here we go there they are it's actually considered the fast laptop to be honest let's see how fast this will play yep it's playing well how can we load the volume Right, let me load one more here these are all 4k high quality heavy videos they're all dot mov dot mov i'm loading these files and let's see the speed can you see there's a bit of a lag I'm just it's not loading look look loading preview loading preview with an rtx 5000 quadro loading preview on an RTX Quadro, this is stuck. Look, it's stuck. It's moving down here, but it's stuck up here. RTX 5000 Quadro. Look at that. Now it has moved. All this clip that was down here was not moving. Look, it's still look, still stuck. What's wrong with it? Well, at least this one is playing. This one is playing. This one is trying to play with a bit of loading. All right, let's try again. Yeah, now I press play. See, you have to wait until it does the finish the procedure. Yeah, but any laptop you have to wait. That's the whole point of buying this laptop is that you don't have to wait. You wanna work in the fast. Now you see. Okay, I'm gonna load a quick video here on top, and let's see how long that will take. See, there's a bit of a crashy, crashy lag. Yeah, obviously. So our processor, our CPU, is working only at 15%, 10% only. Why is it not utilizing all the speed that it has to load my video instead of lagging all the time? Why am I using only 10% of my... Okay, I'm just going to keep loading videos on top of each other. So it will have to render like 1,000 videos. And let's see okay so i've put six videos on top of each other here is the seventh one these are all 4k videos so if i'm playing that i think the ram should kick in the processor should be on 100 percent let's have a look see it's still loading loading preview and our cpu is still reading 11 percent we want this to go high but it's not look the video is crashed there's nothing playing however my oh here we are the cpu is going to 100 percent now 86 85 finally we've managed to make it wake up 
our CPU has woken up guys let's see if it's got any effect on the video no so I hope you like this episode to sum up the processor on this laptop is not as fast as it should be it's actually hindering the RTX Quadro 5000 it's only the i7-9750H which is the slowest probably processor I've seen in my life if you're gonna buy a Quadro RTX 5000 you need to pair it up with a very fast processor I would recommend something like the i9 something like that or maybe even an AMD Ryzen 9 or something like that 9 series so I think the processor is holding this laptop back from shining the RTX 5000 is not doing anything because the processor is working at full capacity however all this 12 GB RAM or 16 GB RAM of, of graphics card is not being utilized by this dinky processor I would return this back as soon as I can I'm just gonna try one more thing and then if that doesn't work then I'm just gonna return it I'm gonna download all the drivers for the video if you like this episode please like share and comment and I'll probably reply to you as soon as I can also after I'm done with this laptop I'll see you in the next episode Peace.